In order to use HSRP with IPv6, you have to be using HSRP version 2. So you will have to convert it using the standby version 2 command to HSRP version 2. Other than that, everything else is the same. Everything else is the same. You have the ability to specify an IPv6 address as the virtual address. But if you don't want to do that, you can use the auto config command. And then you allow the devices in the HSRP group to come up with the virtual IP address that's going to be utilized. So you don't even have to specify the address yourself. You can use auto config. And then what type of address will be used as the default gateway in this case? a link local address, an address that starts with FE80. And for verification purposes, you can use the show standby command. And by using the show standby command, you'll be able to see what the virtual IP address is, whether preemptions enabled or not for the group, what the priority is of this particular device within that group. So what's the group right now? Group one. Can you have group one for IPv4 and IPv6 running at the same time? No, you can't. So make sure that when you are defining your IPv4 HSRP groups and your IPv6 HSRP groups, you keep them unique. You keep them separate from each other. You cannot have the same number utilized for both IPv4 HSRP and IPv6, especially if they're running on that same interface. When using GLBP with IPv6, the same applies. The same applies. You can specify an address if you want to, but you don't have to. You can use an auto-configured IPv6 address for that group. And again, it's going to be a link local address, an address that starts with FE80. That's going to be used as the virtual IP address in that case. And that is perfectly acceptable because, remember, your clients are trying to reach their default gateway, which is going to be part of that same local link. So this auto-configuration feature works like a champ here. It's, it's excellent. It works well. Not only that, you can still rely on those router advertisements in this particular case in order to hand out now that particular link local address to the end station. So the FE80 address. You don't have to go to those end stations and manually type in what that particular default gateway IP address is going to be. The router advertisements can send this to those end stations. So the whole process is going to be automatic when you use this auto config command. Priority can be set. This priority is for the AVG election process. In this case, we've given this device a priority of 200. Turn on preemption because preemption is not enabled by default. And then if we want to verify all of our configurations with GLBP, just the same command as IPv4, show GLBP. When you type that in, you can verify who the AVG is, and you can verify who the active forwarders currently are for the particular group. And in this case, it's group number 11.